All right, guys, we are here for episode 108 of Dragon Ball Super. This is my very late review. I actually did watch this episode the night it came out, but I did not do a review. I was still a little salty that my episode 107 review got... Not that it got a copyright claim, but it got a copyright strike and takedown. Like, the video is gone, and I just am very frustrated because... Uh, using screenshots of the show while doing a review, that's called fair use. Like, they're not allowed to do that. Like, take a video down for a review? I'm not showing the episode. It's a damn review. So I was a little salty. Um, as we've gotten closer to the one-hour special, though, Goku vs. and I'm getting very excited. So damn excited. So here I am. I'm going to do my review. Now, usually I do use, I don't know, 10, 15 screenshots of the episode. Like, while I'm, you know, talking about a certain point, I'll show a screenshot of it. I'm probably only going to use about three for this episode. Uh, maybe using less screenshot because when they give me these copyright strikes, this happened for several episodes. I swear what they do is when you click on a YouTube video, sometimes you can kind of like scroll across like the timeline bar and you can kind of see like a kind of a preview image of what it is. I swear to God, what they do is they click on my video. They do that. They see that there's several different screenshots. They just assume it's an actual re-upload of the episode itself. And then they copyright strike it without even looking what it is i swear that's what they do so i'm just gonna do i think i'm gonna do three screenshots here uh the first one of course is going to be golden freezer transforming because it looks so epic uh i do want to just show off uh just something with the uh universe to uh instant transmission yard rat fighter uh Jamezi. and then obviously uh 100 full power frost i did think was kind of an interesting thing so, this episode, of course, is 108, Frieza and Frost, Conjoined Malice. Let's jump into this review, and then we'll get excited, because tomorrow is the one-hour special. Woo! Goku vs. Jiren, we're all hyped. So, the episode opens up with, for, for real, for real, we, we have had this going on for, like, it's been, like, episodes long of Goku and Ribrianne, like, base form Goku and Ribrianne just kind of dancing around with each other, like, sort of fighting, it seems like. And this has been going on for quite a while. And, I don't know, the first five or so minutes of the episode involves this. Uh, we do get a lot of the other gods of destruction watching and commenting on you know, Universe 2's love and stuff, and they kind of, like, gauge how the various universes are going to be able to sack up against each other, you know, in actually winning the turn of power. Uh, I, you do see that some of the Gods of Destruction, they do mention how Universe 11 has only got three fighters, but they are, you know, fucking monsters, obviously. Topo, Jiren, and Dispo. Now, we see Topo body Kabe a little bit, but it does kind of, like, cut away before, like, Kabe gets defeated or anything. But, of course, like, Kabe would have no shot against Topo. I mean, that's not really that surprising there whatsoever. Let's be real here. Topo is the boy. Kabe is just, you know, not, not really the boy. Now, one of the Kaioshins does actually make an interesting comment and that he says you know it's just a tournament of low level universes and no matter which universe wins nothing will change which is a very intriguing comment to me because it does sort of hint that there is more going on here than we're aware of which I guess is like obvious right like you know, it's, it's very convenient that Zenosama was going to eliminate all of the universes. And Goku's like, hey, let's have a tournament. And then they're like, yeah, sure. And we'll let the winner, like, live. Like, I don't know. It's just all very convenient. That's why I do... I, I, don't, I don't know. I, Dragon Ball Super to this point, I don't know. It's kind of, like... It doesn't deserve, I would say, like, the hype it carries. And it, it seemed very aimless as well. So... You know, it is maybe foolish of me to put faith, but I really do think that when the Universal Survival Arc is all said and done, I think it'll be a very, uh, like, a high point in the Dragon Ball series itself. Uh, I'm also really, really thinking that the Tournament of Power is not going to signify the end of the Universal Survival Arc. I think it will keep going well, maybe not just like a little past the Turner of Power, but well past the Turner of Power. I could see this going on for quite a while. 
So, you know, I, I, I do hope that is the case as well. And I hope Dragon Ball Super can really, like, get, like, a level of, you know, excellence that I just felt was always present with Dragon Ball Z, that at certain points in Dragon Ball Super has not been all the way there. So, the scene switches over to Gohan fighting a robot warrior, and he kind of is, like, avoiding him and kind of, like, escapes. And then Gohan is attacked by Jemezi, uh, the Yard Rat from Universe 2. And I was very disappointed in this because this Yard Rat proceeds to beat the shit out of Gohan. It This is, like, insanely one-sided, by the way. Like, he dominates Gohan. Before it starts, Gohan thinks to himself, like, okay, you know, Yardrats can use instant transmission. I'll have to be prepared for attacks at all times. Obviously, Goku has it, you know, so he's, he should... Gohan should be well-versed in fighting the instant transmission. I mean, lest we not forget, Gohan spent nearly a year in the Room of Spirit and Time with Goku back when he was a kid. I gotta imagine Goku spent a lot of that time beating Gohan's ass using instant transmission, right? So, it's just weird that Gohan, like, literally, Gohan does not touch Jemenzi. He dicks Gohan down, absolutely pummels him to the point where, like, he puts his hand out about to shoot a blast, and he's like, you know, you're a strong warrior, you have great potential, but you were up against the wrong one. If we ever meet again, I'll teach you my attacks. And it's like, he shoots a blast as though, like, Gohan is about to be killed or knocked out. And I'm like, what the? Gohan, this is the Gohan that everyone is like, oh, I think Gohan, Gohan is going to win the tournament of power. He's going to be the last man standing. It's like, yeah? <laughs> the Gohan who is getting absolutely worked like a bitch in this episode. I was very, very disappointed in Gohan, by the way, because... Frieza jumps down, just as Jemezi is about to do the blast and take him down. And what we get here is a absolutely fantastic scene. Frieza and Frost. I mean, we'll get we'll get to Frost. Uh, there is I've got stuff to say about that. But Frieza, I just continue to suck Frieza's presence off in this Universal Survival arc. I was so against it as soon as I heard it, but he like. The show is just better when Frieza is on screen right now. Again, I think one of the big reasons is because unlike 90%, not 90%, but I don't know, 70% of Dragon Ball Super, there's been no tension. But I feel as though for Angel Frieza, like there's like real tension like with him. And it's like, what exactly is he planning? And what we get here is a long scene where... Like, Frieza is kind of doing his ho, 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 like, laughing at Gohan, like, yeah, you're, you know, you're not as nice as I thought you were gonna be, and Gohan is like, nani? It's like, yeah, Gohan, stop it, you, you did get kind of bodied right there, and Frieza looks at him and is like, oh, this could be an opportunity, and Krillin and Roshi and all of them, they kind of, like, start realizing, like, oh, shit, you know, Frieza is truly a villain, He's about to kill Gohan is what he's about to do. He doesn't care about Jemezi. And they even start to talk about this. This is what's really interesting. Because Beerus says, I mean, why would he do this? Because if he takes down Gohan, that'll hurt Universe 7. He'll get erased. Roshi says it must be for some evil scheme of his. And they mention the Super Dragon Balls the most outstanding warrior of the turn of power gets a wish from the Super Dragon Balls. And they kind of come up with this idea that Gohan is in, like, Frieza's way to becoming, you know, the most outstanding warrior of the tournament. So Gohan, like, Frieza wants to eliminate Gohan to help get himself to, you know, the most outstanding warrior to get that wish for the Super Dragon Balls. And Whis actually outright states, you know, it could be a wish to kill a god, which I had already, like, like safely assumed that the Super Dragon Balls could kill a god because they were stated to have no limit whatsoever, but Whis does confirm it. So the Super Dragon Balls could probably kill Zenosama. That's the thing, like, 
we saw an like a, a quick scene earlier in the turn of power where Frieza looks up at the Zenosamas and says like, "Ho ho ho! I'll be overtaking you soon!" Like for real, for real. What if Frieza does win the turn of power? Universe Seven wins, but it's fucking Frieza who wins. Then he uses the Super Dragon Balls and does like erase Zenosamas from existence and like everything turns to chaos or something like that would be really freaking cool bro okay i'd be pretty down with that so frieza's presence just is very exciting to me right now in dragon ball super now frieza actually jumps to the side and says you know what i think i'll fight whoever's uh remains standing after you guys finish it up so jameze and gohan they start fighting again again gohan gets absolutely worked like a speed bag Gets knocked down. Jimese's about to finish him off with a blast. He's holding it up. And Frieza, like, shoots a death beam and just knocks it out of Jimese's hand. And, you know, Jimese is like, uh, bruh, you said you weren't gonna interfere. And Frieza did his, oh, my hand slipped. You know, that really, like, suspect scene he had with Goku earlier. He does that same thing where he's like, whoops, oh, 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 oh my hand slipped. So, at this point... Frieza and Jameze actually begin fighting, and Jameze uses the instant transmission once to get behind Frieza. Frieza smacks the shit out of him with his tail and says, uh, as long as I know you're going to use the instant transmission, you are nothing, and this is going to be child's play. Jameze does it again, and Frieza immediately, like, teleports behind him, says, I told you, and just dominates him. He even, like, gets him in the same headlock he got Vegeta in in the Namek Saga and then, you know, unleashed his Mike Tyson flurry of punches to the stomach. Same thing. He just does this to Jameze. Jameze, like, if this was in the 90s, Jameze would be coughing up blood and stuff. But obviously, you know, now I guess Japanese, like, censorship is a lot more strict on TV. It might also be the time slot that Dragon Ball Super is in, but it's not very bloody or anything. But, you know, if this was back in the day, this probably would have been just like when Frieza was beating the hell out of Vegeta and Vegeta's coughing a blood left and right. I think it would have been the same thing here. Frieza then puts his finger up to Jameze and shoots off like a scatter death beam. Like he shoots off maybe like 10 or 15 death beams or something. Now, it, what's funny is I actually freeze framed it because they don't really show Jameze like, being pierced by the death beams, but it's implied that Frieza basically, again, shoots, like, 10 through different parts of his body. We actually see the Universe 2 gods are like, oh, he killed him! Disqualify him! And Frieza's just kind of like, oh, you think I'd be so incompetent as to kill him? No, 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 no. And then he just knocks Jameze out of the ring and says, I made sure to miss his vitals, but it's not my fault what happens to him after he's out of the ring. So, there it is. Gohan gets absolutely crushed, doesn't even land one damn hit. Frieza then turns around and defeats his dude in two seconds. Literally two seconds, does not get touched. And it's like, uh, Gohan, please, please, my boy, please. Now, Frieza turns around to Gohan and, and mocks him and is like, uh, come on now. Can you, like, you know, you could go Super Saiyan and fight right away. You Saiyans, you guys are not too smart. Now, at this point, Frost shows up. And he calls Frieza Senpai. And then he jumps down and, you know, uh, Vados and Champa start talking. And Vados is like, oh, is Frost here to fight Frieza? And, you know, Champa's like, you dummy, you, you Frost, you stand no chance against Frieza. And Frost goes, no, 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 and points towards Gohan and says, our enemy is that Saiyan, and it's revealed that Frieza and Frost are going to be teaming up against Gohan. They have a grudge against Saiyans. It flashes back to the first episode where they all arrived at the Turner of Power stage, and we see, you know, when Frieza and Frost kind of went off together, we see what happened, and we see Frieza says, like, it's like a flashback, and he's like, oh, would you like to work with me? And then Frost is like, oh, I'd be delighted to, senpai. And well, bam, here we go. Frieza and Frost together. I like when this happened, I I literally was like on the edge of my seat, like, yo, this is good. 
I'm really, really excited. And, like, we get Roshi. Like, this is why I love Roshi. I loved Roshi so much in Dragon Ball, and I love that they're bringing him back in Dragon Ball Super because, like, you know, Goku's fighting Ten Shinhan, and Roshi, you know, has that role where he's like, oh, Ten Shinhan is doing this technique, you know, the this, 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 and this. Like, Roshi's explaining everything. Like, really what he's doing is explaining to the audience, but I always loved it when it's coming from Roshi, and, you know, as Frieza and Frost are staring Gohan down, Roshi comes in like, ah, that's why Frieza was doing that, he let Jamezi and Gohan fight so that Gohan's stamina would be depleted, and now Frieza will be able to beat him easily, like, it's like, oh shit, what, Frieza, no, he's such a villain, I actually was really, really enjoying this, now, we do see that Frieza and Frost, like, Frost doesn't really trust him, and he's, you know, he's kind of like, you know, Frieza, senpai, please go ahead, and Frieza walks forward, like, okay, okay, I'll handle this, I'll handle this, and Frost, like, kind of uh, charges up a death beam, and he's like, you know, just in case you aren't serious about teaming up with me, now, Frieza charges Gohan and punches him, and we see, like, a, uh, one of these face flashes I love, like, you know, Frieza goes to punch Gohan, Gohan blocks it, and then we see, like, a flash of Gohan, like, you know, it does the vignette around his eyes, you know, the little sound effect, like, all that type of shit, and Gohan is like, oh, you know, kind of like that shot thing. Now, when I was first watching this, I, I didn't quite, like, see what exactly that was meant to be, because immediately after it does that, it then cuts to Frieza, who smiles. Now, Frieza and Gohan, they kind of are swapping hands, Frieza, again, is just absolutely working Gohan. Gohan did not have a good showing in this episode whatsoever. He gets bodied. Gohan actually stands up and goes ultimate. He transforms into ultimate Gohan. He starts swapping hands with Frieza again, but then he just absolutely, you know, hits Frieza with a powerful punch, knocking Frieza back, and Frieza's like, oh, okay, so this is your true power, huh? Well, <laughs> I guess I could do it too. And he transforms into Golden Frieza. Now, they reused the animation here from when Frieza transformed in, what was it, episode 95, I believe. I don't mind that. I will never care that they're reusing animation. I think that's a, a silly thing for people to get upset about, considering this is a show that is on the air every week. Plus, it did look really good. My complaint is that they did not use the awesome... That Okay, if y'all go back and watch when Angel Golden Frieza first transforms, that music track that is playing is so good when Frieza transforms. Then it plays again when Frieza, like, resists the Hakai energy and then kind of, you know, crushes it and turns it into a ball in his hand. Those two times that track plays, I was really anticipating it to play right here, and it didn't, which really disappointed me. I'm telling y'all right now, if, like, some crazy shit happens, and then, like, you know, Goku gets defeated way later on, Jiren is defeated, and then it's like, you know, Frieza is left, Vegeta is left, and, like, some random dude we don't know about is left, and, like, they bust this Frieza theme on as Golden Frieza, and he's fighting, yo, I will just nut, like, I love that theme so much, and Frieza, Golden Frieza, so cool. So Frieza goes into his golden form, Frost is really surprised, like, oh, wow, snap, okay, and, you know, even, like, Krillin and Roshi, they're like, oh, Golden Frieza is here, and it's like, oh, yeah, here we go. So then, of course, as y'all might be able to guess, Frieza then absolutely bodies Gohan, no contest, crushes him in seconds, Gohan falls down, you know, Frieza hits him with a flurry, yada, 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 Frost walks up, and it's like, oh, wow, senpai, you know, that, that's really, really crazy, I didn't know you possessed such power, now, Frieza reverts to base, and then it's kind of like talking with Frost, like, I don't know, you can get this power too, but I don't know if you'll, you know, be able to get golden, which I guess is sort of that implication that Frieza, he decided to make the color golden himself, like, he says that to mock Goku and Vegeta, mock Super Saiyans, so Frost could probably get the same kind of transformation, but he'd be able to pick his color, who knows, now, Frieza actually goes 100% full power Frieza, you know, the one that fought Super Saiyan Goku at the end of the uh, saga on Namek, and he says, like, oh, Frost, you should be able to do this as well. So, Frost does it, 
Go is 100% full power here, and I'm like, oh, here we go. This is for the video games and the toys right here. Frost is going to go 100%. Expect to see that card in Dokkan, and then 100% full power Angel Frieza. Expect that to be a card in Dokkan, and to be in Xenoverse, and to be in the card games, and to be actual toys and plushies, all of that. They had to get that shit in there just at the end. Now, Frieza starts explaining, like, you know, in a battle, you should use your full potential early on, you know, go out from the start, which is bullshit, because Frieza never does that, by the way, and then he says, like, oh, this form trains, uh, this form drains stamina heavily, and Frost is like, mm-hmm, yes, yes, I understand, senpai, yep, 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 and Frieza is like, oh, yeah, by the way, you should know this, but don't trust anyone, bitch, and then shoots a death beam, and Frost gets knocked out of the ring, now, when I first saw this, I was like, what the hell, I did not I did not expect this to happen, right? Now, I've said before I expected Frieza to portray Frost and defeat him. I did, but not this soon. Like, Frost had his awesome episode last week. This week, he comes back again, and then Frieza just, like, knocks him out cold right here. I was like, what? Like, again, I expected Frieza to eliminate him, but in, like, 10 episodes from now. Like, I thought Frost was going to have, like, some really cool stuff still to come, but no, that's it for Frost. Now, Frieza shoots him off. Then he turns around and Gohan stands up. And they're like, oh, Gohan is all good. And Gohan reveals, when Frieza attacked me with that first hit, I realized that he wasn't coming at me full power and I decided to play along. So when Gohan has that flash of the, oh, not, huh? Like, you know, and then the vignette around his eyes and stuff. And then Frieza smiled. That was our indicator that... Frieza was not going at Gohan seriously. So Gohan played along. Frieza says, if you did not catch what I was doing, I was going to kill you, by the way. And then Frieza bounces. Now, Frost, been eliminated, is like, how dare you? Like, you know, screaming names at Frieza, all that. Frieza turns around, looks at him and says, did you really think I'd team up with an amateur like you? Frost gets salty beyond belief. Goes to fire a death beam at Frieza. He's screaming, curse you, mother few, motherfucker. You know, he's ready to shoot a death beam at Frieza. The Zenosamas are just like, oh, hell no. And they just instantly erase him on the spot. Another thing, I was like, yo. <laughs> and the Zenosama, one says, no attacks from the outside. And the other says, do it again and Universe 6 is erased. And it's like, whoa, bro. Okay, so Frost is gone for good. Frost was erased. Frieza stole the show yet again. And the episode ends with Goku and Ribrian still fucking fighting. These two will just be fighting for all time, I guess. And that is episode 108. All in all, very good episode. Uh, I liked it quite a bit. Now, we just look forward to episode 109. And 110, it's going to be freaking sweet, bro. Because we know Goku versus Jiren, Goku's new form, let's go. Can't come soon enough, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go.